often overlooked at the roadside. One small plant can tell us so much about why life needs more than a single one-fits-all blueprint. I'm a biologist because I love diversity, the diversity that's all around us. And I also study diversity in plants, in particular that specific plant, Aridopsis thayana. And we want to understand why are they so diverse, or where does the diversity come from, and what does the diversity help them do. Diversity in plants, evolutionarily driven by their enemies. Pathogens are responsible for much of the diversity in nature. This is why researching plant diversity naturally leads to an interest in microbes. We want to understand how communities of pathogens take over a host. So we all know about pathogens attacking uh, humans or plants or worms or beetles and, and whatnot. The important thing is that the pathogens often do not come alone. Uh, and the pathogens either can help each other or they can antagonize each other. And so we want to understand uh, what are these forces of competition and cooperation among pathogens and then also pathogens and other microbes. So we first want to learn all the rules of engagement between pathogens, microbes and the hosts. And then in the future, we hope that we can actually predict how these communities uh, um, evolve. And that's important both uh, in natural situations, in forests, and in meadows, what, what have you. But it's also, of course, important for agriculture. And these rules that we want to discover, they will hopefully be broadly applicable, not just to plants, but also to animals, humans, and so on and so forth. Young researchers will enjoy a welcoming atmosphere in the Department of Molecular Biology, and many of them will never want to leave it. What I love about my existing uh, group and also all the uh, former members of the group, it's really one big family, the Weigel World um, family. Um, uh, we all uh, uh, delight in each other's uh, success, uh, both uh, current members and uh, former members. Uh, one of the greatest joys for me is to see, for example, when I uh, observe cooperation between uh, former members, which uh, uh, happens really very regularly. Weigel and his team attach particular importance to the global challenges of the coming decades. At the Max Planck Institute for Biology, they are in a unique position to tackle these problems. I think where we are really well positioned, as I uh, mentioned uh, earlier, that our institute is very broadly in interested in very many different um, organisms. And so the current challenges of uh, global change that we are facing, they don't just pertain to humans, but they affect everything. They affect animals, they affect plants, they also affect microbes, and they, of course, uh, uh, affect us. So I think we are really supremely well positioned to uh, come up with potential solutions to uh, global change because we are interested in the entire natural world and not just one small, uh, tiny aspect of it.